Alexander, as I live and breathe. I suggest you remove your hand, Ambassador, or you won't be doing either for much longer. I was just surprised to see you, that's all. Do you know that I was thinking about you just the other day? My extremely overpaid sources told me that you had been seen arriving here in a Vorlon transport. Now, they are a profoundly unreliable pool of information on the best of days, so I said, no, it cannot be her. The Vorlons do not pick up hitchhikers, not even one as attractive as you. Besides, if it were you, surely you would come by and say hello to your old friend, Lando. I'm sorry, Ambassador. No, Lando, please. But I'm really very late, if you will excuse me. You have been to the Vorlan homeworld, haven't you? I would pay a great deal of money for an hour of your time to find out what you have seen there. Oh. Lita, I understand the Psy Corps is looking for you. I would hate very much for them to find you. So would I. Because I'm not with the core anymore. That means I'm not bound by their rules. So if someone were to turn me in, I'd find him. And before they took me, I'd plant a nightmare deep in his mind where no one else could find or remove it. And that person would spend every night for the rest of his life screaming. Fine. And keep your threats to yourself. Nightmares. <laughs> the way my life has been going lately, who'd notice? <laughs>